Hello lovely people, I am Citizen Ando and I welcome you to my channel once again. It's another beautiful day and I trust you all are doing great. This episode is about the construction of my septic tank and I'm glad to share that with you today. It's a three chamber septic tank which is going to serve my five bedroom house. These two awesome guys spent four days in getting the excavation done. The initial plan was to hire an excavator to get this job done in just a day. But that was going to be a bit difficult considering the position of the septic tank and where my fence wall and the water tank is. So I had to rely on these two guys to do the manual digging, which wasn't easy at all considering how hard the land is. After a day's job, they would have to soak the trench with water to make digging more easier the next day. I was charged 2,500 Ghana CDs for the excavation. If this happens to be your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe, like and share my videos so others could get the chance to watch it as well. And to you my cherished subscribers and returning viewers, thanks for all the love and support you keep showing this channel. I really do appreciate it. I contemplated for a long time as to whether I go for a septic tank or a biodigester. With the two having their own advantages and disadvantages, I finally settled on the septic tank. With this, I wouldn't need regular maintenance and since I'm not in Ghana most of the time, it will take a couple of years for the tank to be full. The positioning of my tank is very strategic. There are two main reasons why I have it right in front of the house. Reason number one is for easy access when it's time to empty the tank. Even though I have all my bathrooms very close to the back of the house where I could have constructed the septic tank and it would have saved me a lot of money on how many waste pipes I bought. The number two and the most important reason is the location of my borehole. It's advisable to keep your septic tank at least 40 to 50 feet away from your borehole. This is to prevent any possible water contamination. So please do take note of this if you find yourself in such a situation. The size of the septic tank measures 12 feet by 6 feet and 10 feet deep. 16 bags of cement at a unit cost of 87 Ghana cities was used and that was 1,392 cities. We also used 324 6 inches blocks at a cost of 2,592 cities. 8 pieces of 12 mm iron rods and a half coil of binding wire at a cost of 961 cities were also purchased. The overall workmanship was 3,200 cities, summing everything up to 10,645 Ghana cities, which was equivalent to 704 US dollars. I did not have to purchase sand, stones, and water mainly for this job because I already had them on site. I hope this gives you a fair idea on how much it would cost for building a septic tank in Ghana. Thank you for sharing your valuable time with me. I hope to see you again in the next episode. It's during our darkest moment that we must focus to see the light. Keep watching and I promise to come your way with a lot more interesting videos. But until then, be good. Take care of yourself out there. See you later. Hasta la vista.